Hey everybody, Christy Glass here with a finished object for you. I'm wearing it. This is my first time doing a Mode at Rowan pattern. I was connected with Mode at Rowan when I was asked to do a fashion show for their collection at String on the Upper East Side of New York City. And I made a connection with the folks there at Mode at Rowan. And this is actually one of my favorite pieces from the collection. I got to wear this in the fashion show with the baubles on the sleeves. And then Georgina, who works there, asked me if I would be interested in knitting one of their projects, and I said, sure. So I did a deep dive into all the offerings of Mode at Rowan, and I was really drawn to this sweater. Now this Mode at Rowan is big wool textures. There are six projects, so they have a variety of yarns that they design with, but this is the big wool. Here it is right here. I don't know if this has a name, this color. Let's see. I can tell you that it's shade 00079, and most of the Rowan shades are in a quite neutral palette that is very accessible and inclusive of most people's wardrobes. I happen to be a little outside of the norm, so I, of course, wanted the most pink color that they had, which is this one. And in this book, uh, the M Rowan publishes a variety of pattern books, and maybe you've been on a search for a pattern before and found that it is located inside a Rowan book and had to purchase it maybe through a local yarn shop, or I don't know if Amazon would have them, but I personally have had to go on a bit of a hunt to find a Rowan pattern if it's one that was published years and years ago. I actually really enjoy treasure hunting for patterns and Rowan is no exception. The Mason Dixon ladies, they really bonded over Rowan uh, back in the day before they started their blog and I think they sort of felt that feeling too. So here's some of the projects on the first page. There's one, two, three, four pictured here. This dark bluish gray one is the one that I'm wearing. It's called Moon. And this book, Mode at Rowan, is published with English and German patterns. And I found this pattern to be really well written and very, very easy. I would say if you're a beginner knitter and want a sweater that goes by quickly, has a little bit of interest, and is very wearable, I would definitely suggest this. I am a fan of chunky knits, as you may or may not know if you've followed me for a while. And I love this big wool because it has a twist to it and even though it was knit up on size 15 needles, it doesn't feel as cumbersome as some bigger wool can feel when I'm wearing it. This feels a lot more wearable, like I'm just putting on a really cozy, warm sort of sweatshirt sweater. So it's comfortable and yet I feel like it makes a statement. It's knitted in parts, so sleeves and back and front are all the same. And then once it's somewhat pieced together, you do the neckline. So you do have some flexibility on how long you want the neck to be. I believe in the pattern it's about eight inches or so, so you can go less than that and you can kind of fold it down, have it come all the way up. You could probably just end it with a little ribbing as well if you don't like the turtleneck aspect. I love, love, love mattress stitch. And so the only tricky bit about this mattressing was just try, trying to get all of the ridges to sort of line up. I feel like I did a really good job here on the sides, but it's something to pay attention to just to make sure that you like how it's looking when it comes together. That being said, it being on the sides, you don't really see it as much. The sleeves was a bit harder because there is a, an a growth in the sleeves. So you can see that the ridges kind of come together at a certain point. So this one was a little bit harder to navigate, but I decided since it's just on the bottom, it wouldn't matter very much, and I just kind of let it disappear. As I was putting together my front and my back and picking up stitches, I actually had more stitches than I was supposed to have. I am not sure why. I don't think I made a mistake, but of course, when I make a mistake, it usually is the human error, not the pattern, and it didn't seem to matter at all. What was important to me is that all of these ridges lined up so that I made sure I had the, the sort of V knitted look 
next to the pearl bumps. So I wanted to make sure they were in line as best as possible. So I had to do a tiny bit of finagling. I think I just maybe put one extra, because the pattern is one, two, one, two. And just once or twice there were just one, one. So I had to add a stitch. But I just did that upon establishing the pickup row and it didn't seem to be a problem at all. And even though I had extra stitches, it just gives it a little extra wide neck and that doesn't seem to matter. When I sewed it up, I just knew that I could be a little more aggressive with sewing it up. I could really have a nice hem in there if I wanted to, if that makes sense. I do think I swatched for this. Maybe just a little, maybe for like a couple inches. I don't think I did a full swatch. And I also didn't block this because I love how it fits and this big wool is made with merino wool. I'm trying to see if it is superwash or not. Um, it says to hand wash it. So I guess it's not superwash, but I'm always a little bit worried that something's going to grow and if it's fitting me perfectly off the needles and doesn't look bumpy or lumpy or weird, I tend not to block it. And so here it is, this is my sweater, not blocked. Totally wearable, loving it. It is Moon by Mode at Rowan, and this is part of one of their first collections, I believe. It says Quail Studio on the bottom. I'm not sure exactly what that means, but if you follow them at Mode at Rowan on Instagram or on Facebook, I'm sure you can get all of the details. I had the opportunity to attend a little event over Vogue Knitting in January of 2020, and I saw their whole summer and spring collection, and they have a lot of beautiful pieces coming out that will really enhance your wardrobe made with a variety of fibers. So I highly recommend following them and checking them out and see what you can find. I'm sure you'll find some really wonderful pieces, and I certainly enjoyed making mine. So thank you so much, Mode at Rowan, for sending me this lovely yarn and pattern book, and I'll See you next time on Christy Glass Knits. Bye!